name of the movie is Noah, and it's the story of Noah's Ark. Hey, Mark. Action! A great flood is coming. We build a vessel to survive the storm. We build an ark. There was a huge issue of what is this ark going to look like. The idea was, let's go back to what God tells Noah in the Bible. In Genesis, the dimensions of the ark are laid out 30 cubits high by 50 cubits wide by 300 cubits long. A cubit is roughly the dimension of your elbow to your forefinger. What is this? This is our ark. It basically describes a box. It doesn't talk about a bow. It doesn't have to navigate. It wasn't like Noah was trying to take the ship anywhere. It just basically has to survive the flood. The first time I came out for the exterior ark stuff and saw the ark just lifting out of the ground, you know, because, you know, you see it in pictures and all that sort of stuff. Jeez, it was an experience. Our exterior set is 55 feet tall, 85 feet wide. Our version of it goes 165 feet. In our story reality, we will extend it digitally to be about 500 feet. The set was very, very inspiring. We built it to the actual scope that's described in the Bible, which is actually a pretty impressive size ship. Movies don't really build things like this anymore. We've been designing the ark for over a year. It took us six months to build and to complete. The scaffolding you see right here is what was used by Noah and his family to apply the pitch. The pitch is all of this tar and straw and sticks and, and leaves that were used to seal the ark. The idea being that it was really made with what was around. Did you see how he made the forest to give us wood for the ark? How he sent the birds? Has he not sent everything we need? At the bottom of the ark, we have our ballast. This ballast goes down another 15 feet. The ballast is volcanic rock to keep it from rolling around in the ocean. The ramp was there to serve one function, for reptiles to be able to get up there, for mammals to be able to get in here, and birds to fly up to the top. This interior arc matches in proportion the exterior arc where we were shooting. And we really took to heart the idea that we were packing for a uh, journey. Uh, whatever stores, whatever tools, whatever bits of technology were available to our family got put into this arc. Oh, this should be inside by now. The storm is coming. I wanted very much this arc to be an act of desperation. It begins. The craft of this arc would be very rough and rugged, and that idea gives the arc its vitality, the sense that doom is impending. People are really working quickly to try and make something so that they can survive. When they come, they will be desperate, and there will be many. I'm very fortunate to have worked on films with big budgets and amazing sets, but I still think that what Darren has pulled off is quite incredible, and it feels very once in a lifetime that I'll stand on a whole physical arc. Chase the arc! It's a great adventure story and a great drama about surviving in impossible times. What do you think it'll be like? The end of everything. The beginning. The beginning of everything. I think it'll be very exciting for people to go on a journey with Noah and his family. Remember, Noah, he chose you for a reason.